Welcome to part two in our four part video series on how to build a million dollar business fast. In the last video, if you didn't catch that, you can click it over here. It's best to start from the beginning and watch this through step by step because it all builds on top of each other. Now in this video, what we're gonna cover is once you have your high ticket offer, how do we really start to scale this thing out and develop what we call message market match. This is the key to unleashing scale and really starting to build a business that can run without you. So when it comes to message market match, I'm gonna give you guys a couple books that are recommendations or personal favorites of mine from a good friend of mine. He has two books. The first one's called Choose and the second one's called Ask. And these two books are tools that I often will refer to as I develop message market map. So how this works is that first of all, we need to define the market we're going to attract. And it's very important to be narrow with your market definition because you can help people with social media. Are you gonna help insurance agents? And even if you say, I help insurance agents with social media, is it that you help insurance agents who are solo insurance agents? Or do you help insurance agents with at least a team of 10 or more people? Because those two people are different psychographics and they will respond to different messages. So that's why it's so important. We gotta get really lasered in on who we're working with and the problem that we're solving for them. Another thing about market selection is that if you choose the right market, you can charge substantially more money. So here's an example. Tony Robbins actually turned down Alex Rodriguez once. Alex Rodriguez wanted to pay Tony Robbins a million dollars for personal one-on-one -on -one coaching. The reason Tony Robbins turned him down is because Tony Robbins chose a different market to serve a market that he can make substantially more money on his time that he invests with them. He works with hedge fund managers and he gets a performance bonus based on the upside that he helps them create. So Tony Robbins refuses a million dollars because he has another market where he can make even more money. So you got to start thinking like that. If I can take the same product and reposition it from one market to another, I can oftentimes make significantly more money. I'll give you an example. If I sold sales rep, which that's one of our businesses is we recruit and we build sales teams. So if we sold sales teams to people selling $10 products, we wouldn't make any money. So instead we sell sales reps to people who sell products that are multiple thousands of dollars because it's a lot easier for to be a profitable, healthy relationship. So same goes, you wanna narrow your focus. We also, when we started the business of working with sales reps, we said that we wouldn't serve a certain person below a revenue level. And now over time, we've been able to reconfigure it through partnerships and acquisitions and growing and buying more businesses. But at the beginning, I couldn't serve the lower end of the market and serve the other part of the market at the same time. I had to narrow my market selection. And while people would have thought, that's stupid because you're now losing a good chunk of customers. In fact, what I gained was a very strong strong market position based on a powerful message market match. And that's exactly what you wanna do when it comes time to really start to dial this in. Now here's the scariest part about developing your message market match. It's being told no. My dad once told me that when I was a toddler, he told me no and I said, I don't like the word no. And I'm sure you can relate. Most of us don't like to hear the word no, especially when we feel like our life is on the line. And when we're starting and growing a business, it constantly can feel like you're putting yourself out there and each rejection feels like almost like a dagger to the heart. So when you hear the word no, you gotta realize that's the worst that's gonna happen to you inside of this business is you're gonna be told no. And other thing that people will do is they try to act too big time, right? So when they're just starting their business, they think that, oh, I'm gonna have a team of people that do this stuff for me. Even now when I own multiple seven figure businesses, I still, if I'm starting a business, I wanna be the first person to talk to the customers because having an intimate understanding of your customer, what they're thinking, and being able to speak to them at a very deep level, that's what separates the businesses that succeed from the ones that don't. And that's why once you have a high ticket offer or an idea, an outline of a high ticket offer, you gotta get really narrow with your market selection. Start to define exactly how you wanna solve this problem or what problem you wanna solve for them and start to put the messaging out the way that they're putting it out to you, right? So the best way to do this, and this is what Ryan Levesque teaches also in his book, and this is exactly the process that we use inside of our programs, is through surveying our audience. So we really need to ask our audience the right questions to get them to tell us what their problems are, to get them to tell us what their desires are, to get them to tell us what their concerns are about it. And once we can get really clear and we've surveyed our audience and we've asked them not just if they would buy something, but we've actually asked them for a credit card, then eventually you'll start to get to the yes. And once you get that first yes, it's like the best thing you can imagine. I still 
you'll remember the first yes being like, yeah, and you'll run around your house. You'll feel like King Kong, like beating your chest. You will be so thrilled because you finally started to get to the point where you have cracked the code. If you've been following along in this series up to this point, we've covered two of the main components that you'll need in order to build your million dollar business. The first being a high ticket service or a premium price product. And the second being a very clearly selected market and developing that message to market match. In the next video, we're gonna talk about building that predictable sales engine. And once you even have just these three pieces alone, that will unlock the 20, 30, and $50,000 consistent months. From there, we'll teach you how to scale it to the 100K months. So I'll see you in the next video in the series where we'll talk about your predictable sales engine.